On a sunny Tuesday, the 24th of June, 2025, something remarkable unfolded at the headquarters of the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority, tucked inside the bustling heart of Kotoka International Airport. It wasn't just another routine meeting or high-profile visit. It marked the beginning of a new chapter in Ghana's journey towards embracing the skies in a completely different way. The event witnessed the official signing of a letter of intent between the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority and the Korea Transportation Safety Authority. But this wasn't just ink on paper. It was the blueprint for something far bigger, a bold vision to build a full-fledged drone ecosystem in Ghana, a strategic move that could redefine how the country approaches innovation, safety, and development in the air. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. From the start, the atmosphere at the signing ceremony was thick with anticipation. It wasn't just the Ghanaian officials in attendance, but a Korean delegation made up of high-level researchers and thought leaders. Among them were principal researchers Cho Ju Yong and Jung Gi Hun, along with Professor Lee Byung Suk, director of the Drone Security Strategy Institute at South Korea's prestigious Sun Chun Yang University. These weren't just visitors, they were key architects of South Korea's advanced drone policy and safety systems. And now, they were turning their expertise towards Ghana. The purpose of their visit extended beyond just a ceremonial agreement. It was a deep dive into Ghana's growing drone landscape, a landscape that's already seen pockets of success in health delivery, agriculture, and surveillance, but still lacks a harmonized structure to scale efficiently. The Koreans came to do more than observe. They came to finalize a comprehensive cooperation plan and to launch an initial stakeholder survey that would provide the foundation for targeted development within the sector. Now, at the core of this initiative is South Korea's Official Development Assistance Program. This is not your typical foreign aid scheme. It's a powerful policy tool from the Korean government that offers non-repayable financial support, goods, and services to countries like Ghana, where the potential for transformation is massive. Through this, the Korea Transportation Safety Authority, COTSA for short, is taking the lead in a pioneering program that's expected to reshape Ghana's future from above, the Ghana Drone Initiative. At first glance, the idea of a drone roadmap might seem like just another bureaucratic step. But when you look deeper, it becomes clear this is the necessary first stone in the foundation of an ambitious edifice. The roadmap to be rolled out over the next eight months will not only diagnose the current state of the sector, but will provide a clear path for structured growth. It's about laying down the rules of engagement, identifying the gaps in safety and innovation, and most importantly, outlining the projects that can drive the industry forward in a meaningful and sustainable way. And the roadmap is only the beginning. As the plan unfolds, three more transformative projects have already been lined up by the Korean delegation, each one timed perfectly to follow the momentum of the initial roadmap. First on the list is the Regulatory Framework and Drone Safety Management Project, which is scheduled to begin in 2028 and will span five years. This is a critical component because as drone usage increases, so too does the potential for safety risks, legal confusion, and uh, gray areas in terms of airspace governance. The focus here will be on building robust laws and regulations that keep up with the technology while ensuring both security and efficiency in drone operations. operations. Then comes the Drone Pilot Training Program, set to kick off in 2030. Ghana already has a wave of young tech enthusiasts eager to enter the drone space, but without structured training and certification pathways, their potential remains untapped. This program will create those pathways. It will professionalize drone piloting in Ghana, open up employment opportunities, and ensure that the country has a ready pool of skilled individuals to serve the needs of the industry. Finally, there's the Drone Industry Ecosystem Development Project, which begins in 2032. This is where things get really exciting. So, this phase will look at the entire value chain of the drone sector, from hardware manufacturing and maintenance to software development, data analytics, and service provision. It's not just about flying drones. 
It's about creating a new industrial ecosystem that supports innovation, entrepreneurship, and economic growth. During the signing ceremony, the Acting Director General of the GCAA, Rever Stephen Wilfred Arthur, delivered a message that resonated with everyone in the room. He acknowledged the growing importance of drone operations in Ghana, not just as a novelty, but as a national asset. He made it clear that while drones offer incredible benefits, they also come with challenges that require careful planning, especially when it comes to security, privacy, and air traffic management. Rever Arthur noted that the GCAA is already taking steps in this direction, with directives in place on the importation and use of drones and ongoing efforts to integrate drone systems with Ghana's broader air traffic management using advanced software tools. What stood out most from his remarks was the urgency and clarity with which he spoke. He called the drone sector dynamic and rapidly evolving, which is exactly what it is. In a country where drones have already started delivering medical supplies to remote areas and monitoring crop health in rural farmlands, the possibilities are endless. Rever Arthur emphasized that this Korean-backed initiative couldn't have come at a better time. Indeed, uh, Katza isn't just a passive player in this game. As the Korean agency tasked with ensuring safety and innovation across various transportation modes, including drones, Katza brings to the table years of experience in shaping drone policies, building safety systems, and executing large-scale technology projects. Through this collaboration, they intend to drive three key initiatives. The Ghana-Korea Drone Sector Advancement Project, focusing on regulation and safety, the Advanced Drone Application Pilot Training Program, and the Drone Ecosystem Integration and Innovation Project. Each of these is designed not only to meet Ghana's immediate needs, but to position the country as a leader in drone innovation across Africa. Think about the scale of what's unfolding. This isn't just an agreement between two agencies. It's a long-term partnership rooted in mutual respect, shared goals, and a vision for the future. It's about combining Ghana's unique needs and opportunities with South Korea's technological expertise and development strategy. And the benefits won't be limited to the skies. As this partnership matures, we're likely to see ripple effects across education, healthcare delivery, e-commerce, environmental monitoring, national security, and even entertainment. Imagine a Ghana where drones are used to assess flood-prone areas in real time, helping emergency services respond faster and more effectively. Picture agricultural drones that provide precise data to farmers in remote villages, helping them maximize yields and reduce waste. Visualize skilled drone pilots trained right here in Ghana, building careers in an industry that's barely scratched the surface of its potential. This is the future that the Ghana-Korea Drone Initiative is working towards, a future that isn't just coming, but is already on the horizon. And what makes this even more powerful is the fact that it's starting with the right foundation. Not a rush to import more hardware. Not a top-down imposition of foreign technology, but a carefully thought-out roadmap designed hand-in-hand -hand with Ghanaian stakeholders that puts the country's needs and capabilities first. A plan that respects the complexity of airspace regulation while opening up space for innovation and growth. For the young innovator tinkering with drone components in a workshop in Kumasi, for the farmer in the Upper East region wondering how to get real-time weather data, for the delivery company in Accra seeking to expand into new territories, and for the next generation of Ghanaian engineers, coders, and designers, this moment matters. As drones take to the skies in increasing numbers, what's being built behind the scenes will determine how safe, efficient, and impactful they are. It will shape not just how drones are used, but who uses them, how they're made, and what problems they solve. And thanks to this powerful new partnership between Ghana and South Korea, that future looks brighter than ever. So the next time you hear a soft buzzing overhead, don't just think of it as a flying machine. Think of it as a symbol of progress, of, par of partnership, and of the remarkable heights Ghana is preparing to reach. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.